how to use the Fitbit Inspire 2 for beginners. First thing I want to mention that the Fitbit Inspire 2 is my favorite Fitbit. I have all the Fitbits, all the Fitbit charge, um, charge, all the Fitbit verses, and this one is my favorite. One of the biggest thing is I can charge this with a full battery and it'll last me nine to ten days. My other Fitbit charge um, watches or trackers only last four to five days. Even my Apple watches, I have to charge it every one to two days. And one of the biggest things for me is my sleep pattern here. Okay, so I have to use this at nighttime when I'm sleeping so I don't have to constantly worry about every uh, couple days or four or five days I have to charge it. Okay, this will last about nine to ten days on one full battery charge. So of course you get like a Fitbit app, but first let me go over some of the settings on the watch here and how to use it, okay? So if you go ahead and press like this, that's the only button on here. You can feel it vibrate when you do this, okay? And now you can see I have the uh, clock face here. Now you can always change this as well. For example, if you wanted like a different clock face, simply what you do is go ahead and open up your Fitbit app. And then from here, you wanna go ahead and top left-hand corner, click on your avatar right there, and then you wanna tap on Inspire 2 right there. And it shows clock faces here. You can go ahead and tap on that and you should be able to see all other uh, clock faces. So that's the one I'm currently using. This is the default one. This is the one I prefer, but you can go up here to all clocks and you can choose whichever one that you want, okay? Just tap it and just sync it. It's pretty simple, okay? Anyway, I do prefer the default one that's on here. Just basically gives me a time and the, uh, the date on the bottom. Now what we can do is we can swipe up, we swipe up. Now I can see how much battery juice I have left the date, the time, and all that. I can go ahead and oops, keep swiping up. I can see how many steps I did today so far. My heart heart rate, resting heart rates. So far, I burned about 890 calories today. Uh, I went about a half a mile today as well. I got six hours and 43 minutes of sleep uh, last night, which is 68, which is fair. It's not great, but it's okay for me. And you have some other things on there. Now also, if you go ahead and swipe down, you have your notifications on here. You have your exercise, which is a big thing for me. And you have a uh, relax, basically like a small like meditation, one to two minute like breathing. And you have timers, stopwatch and all that. You can set your alarm. You have tile that I don't, I don't even use. And you have all your settings here as well, okay? So settings. You can see on here now this is very important you have um phone gps you have to have this on if you want to go ahead if you're exercising and you're tracking like you're cycling or running or walking you have to have the uh, phone gps right here you have to have it on this way it'll actually track like how many miles you went uh, what is your average speed uh, per mile how many miles you went and so on. So this is very important, so remember this, okay? GPS on, which is gonna use your phone GPS. So you have to have your phone when you're doing your exercises to track, again, like your miles per hour, how many miles you went and so on. And if we keep moving up, we have your heart rate, which I like to keep that on, do not disturb. And some other things, oh, you have double tap. You should go ahead and keep this on, double tap. So when you keep it on, you know, of course, when you go ahead and flick your wrist, It'll automatically come on unless you have that turned off, but you can also do this, okay? You can double tap it as well, okay? So let's go back to the settings here. So you got a double tap and some other things on here too. You also have a clear user data. Basically, if you want to go ahead and factory reset this you go ahead and press and hold that. And you have another one down here. If you want to go ahead and reboot the device. Oh yeah, and every time you tap on this, it'll go back. Okay, basically a back button as well. But you have a reboot here if you need to reboot or somehow, for some reason, you can press and hold this. Oops, press and hold this. And just wait till that square lines up. Three. Okay, now you can go ahead and, oops, let me do it again. Let me try that again. You can see the square on there. This is how you restart it. Just hold it there and then wait till the square connects and it's automatically going to go ahead and restart. You get the smiley face so you know that it's booting up now. 
Now also, one of the important things is about exercise, okay? Tracking your exercise. So let me just go back up to your exercise. Now you tap on that. Now you can only put six in here, okay? I have run, bike, swim, treadmill, weights, walk, okay? Now, just let me give you a quick example here. Let's say I'm biking here, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on bike. And as soon as I'm getting ready to start cycling, I'm gonna go ahead and press on play and just, and just I can go ahead and track it, how many miles I'm going. You gotta have that GPS on though, on here, okay? Miles per hour, all that. If I ever wanted to pause, just press the side like that, and there you go. If I want to resume, just tap it again, and it's gonna go ahead and proceed. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and stop the exercise, let's say I'm done biking my, my usual 50 miles or whatnot, I'll go ahead and tap on this right there, and then I'll go ahead and tap it again, and then tap on finish, okay? And then I can see my results right here as well. I'll tap on close right there. Now really quickly, let me just go to the app here and let me show you about the app, okay? So, so when you open up the app, you go to today, and then you can see today I had like 1,100 steps. I walked about a, um, half a mile so far. So far I burned about almost 900 calories. And one of my biggest things too is sleep time, okay? So, you, so last night I slept six hours and 43 minutes, which is pretty good for me, and you can see you know, every day that you're, um, how much sleep you got and whatnot. Even if you like sleep and then two hours later you wake up and then you're up for an hour and you try to go back to sleep, it'll count all your sleep time, okay? Which is very important for me. And let me go back here. And regarding to the uh, steps, smiles, all that, if I tap on this right here, I can see so far today I had like 1,100 steps and you can see my other days, you know, 6,500, 6,000, 7,000. 5,000. It's best to have like 10,000 steps per day, really. But you can see all the weeks prior. And if I go back here, same thing with like how many miles you like walked or ran. It's all on here, too. And then also you have calories, how many calories you burned each day. You can see I burned uh, almost 5,000 calories yesterday. That's because I rode my bike like 50 miles. And you can see all my other calorie burns per day, which is really important for me. Also, if you ever want to sync it, what I do is just go ahead and tap on today. And then what you do is just slide down and you can see this up here, syncing your Inspire 2. Give that one second. You also have your battery percentage on your watch right here as well. So syncing, syncing is complete. Now everything is up to date on here. And let me show you some of the settings. So if I tap on today right here, and then what I can do is uh, top uh, left-hand side, the avatar, let's click on that. And then as soon as you're here, you can go down and you can see other settings here, your account settings, your app settings here. You can change your units, uh, time zone, location. Uh, you got your notifications here. And also if you tap on right here, Inspire 2, go ahead and tap on that. And you have other settings here. You can set your alarm. You got notifications here. You have those reminders to move. Okay, by default, they turn that on. I turn mine off because I'm tired of getting a, me a message every hour that I have to move or whatnot. So I just basically turn mine on, but that's a preference. Now, another big thing to do is exercise shortcuts. So let me tap on that. Now, remember on my watch, I showed you all the exercise options I had. Now, if you want to add something else, the max that you can add in here that'll show up on here is only six exercises. So if I want to add something else, I already have six in here, so I would have to delete one. So for example, let me go ahead and delete this treadmill here. Let me uh, delete this, let me tap on edit. Let me go ahead and delete just the treadmill. So now I only have five, so now I can go ahead and add another short uh, exercise shortcut, so I can tap on that. And for example, let's just say I wanted to do tennis, I can tap on tennis right there, and tennis is right there. And then if I go ahead and click on done, and then let me just go ahead and sync it. So let me go down, let me wait for it to sync, and then we should see that on the watch here. So the sync is complete, and then let me go to my exercise. And you can see I got run, bike, swim, weights, walk, and voila, there's tennis now, okay? And in regards to your sleep, if I click on today right here, and you tap on your uh, sleep here, you get all kinds of other information on here as well. If I tap on that, you can see where um, you were awake. You can see this big period I was awake here because it's hard for me to fall back to sleep. You can see your REM light uh, deep. You can see all your average, you know, average time that you've been awake and all that good stuff as well. You can even click that and see a little bit bigger picture, see exactly 
what's going on here as well. So that's pretty much it. That should get you up and running. That's pretty much everything that I use it for. And I had this uh, for quite some time. So hopefully that helped you out, got you up and running, and you're ready to rock and roll. Good luck, guys.